Ten years ago, due to the incident now known as the Gate Opening, the gateway to the realm of the gods and the realm of the demons was opened. Soon afterwards, the gods and the demons began migrating to our world. Now there are places where demons, gods, and humans all study together, such as our school, Ravenna Academy. Just so you know, the history of the gateway will be on the final exam. If you get it wrong, I'll make you do bunny hops with dumbbells. Do you think you're living a fulfilled life every single day? The girls are absolutely what I live and die for. I really love taking care of you, Reed. Mayumi lives for chasing a newest scoop. Asa tries to enjoy life to the fullest every day. They all have something that fulfills them. I don't have anything. You sure look relaxed. Right now. <laughs> My class is apparently extremely boring. Sorry I'm such a bad teacher. Me too! I mean, not that you're- I'm a- <laughs> <laughs> You lucked out, Tsuchimi. <sighs> Come with me. We need to talk. Reen, did you ever become acquainted with girls from other worlds when you were a kid? No, not that I can remember. Although, I wasn't really aware that people from other worlds existed back then. Why do you want to know? Hmm. Well, it's nothing to be worried about. At least, I don't think it is. You've obviously got something on your mind. The only advice I can give you for right now is this. Be strong. Okay. Good luck. I'll help you as much as I can. Remember, be brave. Stay strong. And don't give up, no matter what. I don't get it. What is it I'm supposed to be fighting? Where did you go home, Kaede? Um, I'm sorry, but I can't go home just yet. Do you need to stay later today? Hey, Kaede. Sorry for making you wait so long. Are you ready to go, sweetie? That's a surprise. Why are Asa and Kaori out here? Do you have after school plans with them or something? Oh, hello. It's nice to see you, Reen. I heard something about you today. I heard you were getting on with Itsuki. <laughs> what kind of rumors are the upperclassmen spreading around about me now? Oh, you know, forbidden love. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with the your head right now? Just stop it, okay? <laughs> oh, come on. Get over it. We all know you're Kaede's knight in shiny armor. The way you say it, I'm not sure how I should take that. Well, anyway, Mr. Knight, we have to borrow Kaede for a little while. Huh? I'm really excited, Reen. I'm learning how to make a brand new recipe for you today in cooking club. It'll be great. Is it nice to know that a girl is so eager to learn how to make you great food? Lucky. <laughs> <coughs> Do you have to get the stuffing out of me like that? <sighs> Listen up! The new transfer students are girls. Actually, there are two of them. One of them is a god, and the one is a demon! And they're both ridiculously pretty! What's wrong with you? Aren't you even interested? Huh? What did you say? <laughs> You're clueless! I guess Kaede still doesn't have to worry about romantic rivals for a while. Romantic rivals? <laughs> Anyways, you ready, Kaede? We should get going. I'm so Later? sorry, Ring. I'll make a really great dinner for you as soon as I get home, I promise. Oh, don't rush or anything. I think we're out of milk. Is there anything else we're out of? Hmm. I wish I would have thought of asking Kaede before I left the school. If we need anything else, don't worry about it. I'll go shopping later. You just go home and relax. I know that's exactly what she would say. I guess I just have to do the best I can for now. Hmm? Huh? Those ears. She must be a god. I don't think I've seen her around here before. Hmm. So as far as cost goes, this one's less expensive. But if I get more with this one, it might be worth paying a little extra. Uh, excuse me, can you help me decide which one of these I should get? Uh, sorry? I've managed to narrow it down to these two, but I just can't make up my mind. Oh. See, I'm cooking for 
someone who eats a lot, so I don't know if I should buy two of these medium packages or just get one of these big ones. Savings are quantity. Ugh, my head hurts just thinking about it. Oh, that's rough. So, what do you think, huh? Well, if they have that big of an appetite, then maybe you should get two packages. That's what I thought. Thanks, it's settled. I'm gonna buy two of these packages. <laughs> You've really been a big help. Oh, no problem. I'm sorry I can't stay and talk, but there's a toilet paper sale at the drugstore and I can't miss it, you know? Oh, of course. I don't want you to miss a sale. I'm glad I can help. I guess I'll see you later then, Reen. <laughs> I wonder if I got too much. Well, at least Cody won't have to go shopping for a while. Huh? So far away, but I know we'll be together soon. So I'm thinking of your eyes, remembering your warm embrace. Suddenly, before I know it, there's a smile on my face, and when all Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't scare you, did I? Uh-uh. You haven't been standing there listening to me sing this whole time, have you? Yeah. I'm afraid so. You have a beautiful voice. Oh, well, I don't know about all that. It's nice of you to say, but I know lots of people who sing much better than I can. Oh, I don't say that. Although, I suppose if I am bad, you can call that your punishment for spying. Speaking of punishment, if I don't get home pretty soon, I'm probably going to be in trouble. Well, I wouldn't want that. Sorry for interrupting you. Not at all. I'm really glad we had a chance to talk. Me too. I hope I get the chance to hear you sing again. Oh, well, who knows? It's a small world where you keep your ears open and you might hear my voice sooner than you think you will. <laughs> Bye then. Beautiful girl, and she sings too. I actually met two new girls from both worlds today. Not funny. Wait a sec, how do they know my name? <laughs>